welcome to the documentation special interest group meeting for December 11, 2020. Uh, by way of agenda today, I'm going to give a status report on how Jenkins documentation office hours are going, brief review of Google season of docs and the results from that session, and then latest data on contributors and contributions. Office hours status, we're really grateful. We're having three and four people attend our Monday sessions. Uh, Vlad Silverman, Meg McRoberts, and Jonathan, Jonathan Marais. Um, they've been contributing significantly. The Hacktoberfest results were dramatically better for, thanks to the efforts of Jonathan. And the Docker image improvements from Vlad have been wonderful. We now have a better use of official Jenkins Docker images instead of using the Jenkins Blue Ocean images. Uh, it's more maintainable more sensible and works better. Likewise, our Thursday office hours are well attended. Uh, Kristen Whetstone, Zina Babu Bakar, and Marky Jackson Talia are all attending and have done a great job on most recently for the last three months, Google season of docs. Uh, grateful for their contribution to documentation. On Google season of docs, uh, on December 9th, we hosted the Jenkins online meetup as the conclusion of Google Season of Docs, the Jenkins on Kubernetes documentation project. Zinab did a great job there and has concluded her project. She has agreed and plans to continue contributing to the Jenkins project, specifically in Kubernetes. We're very grateful for her work there. She's posted a blog on her results and will host a retrospective in next Thursdays uh, Doc's office hours with Zina, Kristen, Marky, and me. In terms of latest data on contributions, contributors and contributions, our number of GitHub issues has increased slightly from last time. We're at 112, whereas previously we were at 100. We're, we are now at 117, where we were previously at 112. Uh, the same number of closed, so we've not closed any issues since six weeks ago. That's not a great sign. That's one of the indicators that we may want to close additional issues. And one of the best ways to close those issues right now is by merging, reviewing and merging uh, and open PRs because we have a number of pull requests which are specifically address mer issues and we would benefit by reviewing and merging them. Likewise, our metrics on pull request engagement time are looking pretty good. If you look, as you look at this graph across the past two years, you see in about the last eight or nine months, we've stabilized and improved our time to engagement. Whereas before there were wide swings between sometimes a PR would be as much as three weeks before it would be receive any attention. Now our, our typical response is for the last three months has been within one day. And that's for 85% of all pull requests submitted. And within three days for the last nine months. So we've stabilized, this looks really good. Thanks very much to those who are reviewers who are assisting with the review of documentation PRs. The time from open to merge is not as happy a story. Here we've got, a, the graph shows us that we've reached periods in the last month or so where it was taking us four days, four, four days or more to merge 85, the 85th percentile of our pull requests. Uh, we need to improve this. This is one where our contributors deserve our our effort, I'll put some attention to it over the course of the next few weeks and try to get us down so that in January we can report an improvement on that. Now, in addition, our contributions from the last month have been a little lower than they were the month before. Now, the month before had the benefit of Hacktoberfest data included in it. In this case, 47 poll requests were merged we received eight new issues and closed 16 issues. Good, good progress, but we've got more to do there. 
Right now we have 28 open pull requests and we've closed over 4,600 pull requests in the life of the repository. Thanks very much to everyone working on the Jenkins documentation. Much appreciated.